emotionally unavailable men? Yeah! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you guys were safe in the mall for me, but look at you! <laughs> Um, for those of you guys who don't know what it's like to date an emotionally unavailable man, um, I'll put you through the exercise, right? So, like, imagine that you just, like, invest all of your savings into buying lottery tickets, and then you win the lottery, right? You, you win the jackpot, but you just don't ever know because they just, like, forgot to text you back. <laughs> <laughs>
year was so formative for him, uh, I, all I could really think about was like, you know, this is kind of crazy, right? Like this guy was so kind of like touched by this experience, yet in my memory, he was just like a prototype of the man that I will never date. He was, just, he was like a bundle of red flags for me. Like, but I just got like super nervous, and instead of that, I just like invited him to my boyfriend's comedy show. <laughs> Emotional progress, like dating a male comedian. <laughs> 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 but we broke up recently, so um, that's what you said. <laughs> 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 I'm doing with it. It's been a week. Uh, if you want a portrait of what it sounds like to be out of a relationship for eight days, uh, it is. A cry that is so soft you can barely hear it, but like just the drown of Natasha Bedingfield. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't listen to Natasha Bedingfield. I have been listening to Parisian music because I don't know what the fuck they're saying, but I just assume they're on my side. Um, but it is, it's really sad, but I figure that I should just like feel it all right now, right? Like any emotion that comes up, any feeling, I should just feel it because I don't want it to crystallize and like come up months and years later because that sucks. <laughs> yeah, emotional hell. <laughs> <laughs> something right now and you're not telling me, honestly, that's like pretty rude. <laughs> <laughs> Being a really bad friend. <laughs> uh, I need you, I'm grieving. <laughs> but, I don't know, you might be thinking she doesn't want to feel the things that I'm feeling, but I will let you know right now that this week alone, I have cried about the Vietnam War. <laughs> about Coney 2012, so like, <laughs> really, honestly, pass it along. Something else about me, uh, my gums are receding, so pretty soon I'm just going to be the whole time. <laughs> 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 So my gums just go backwards. But I found out recently that your gums don't grow back. <laughs> <laughs> you only get one gum, guys. Hashtag yoga. <laughs> I can paint that on a piece of driftwood and sell it at Target. Hashtag <laughs> inspirational. Um, um, I didn't know that though, and I feel like since finding that out, it's given me like a new lease on life. <laughs> like, I can only be so stressed for the rest of my life before all of my gums are gone. <laughs> like this stress. Um, but I don't know, it's made me reflect on how silly it would be if I just like wasted away all of my stress on like the silly stresses of my 20s, right? When I had just like a big, beautiful life of worry. <laughs> like, I don't know, I was like really looking forward to refining refining my first house. <laughs> so, um, or like that thing when you like get a hot flash but you have to excuse it, except for it's to like the robots that are taking my job. <laughs> Like, I would not have dated so many narcissists in my 20s if I had known that postpartum depression was just around the corner. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you guys.